I'm Dan Glass. I'm the visual effects supervisor uh, and also one of the associate producers on the project Voyage of Time. The role of the visual effects supervisor, it can be a little different on every project. Uh, working with Terence Malick, it's especially different. <laughs> In a very broadest sense, it is about uh, looking after anything that needs work that happens in a computer, digital work. The film is a documentary following a timeline of our understanding of history and, and the scientific basis upon which life has evolved. The formation of the solar system and, and the proto-Earth uh, and the sun itself, down to the origins of, of life, the prebiotic, and then the very, very early formation of more complex organisms encourage people to believe and be inspired by the wonder of it all, which is very much at the core of Terry's themes in a lot of his other movies also. Terry's commencement of this project began, I believe, at least 40 years ago, and really he's been compiling notes uh, on scientific theory from then until now, and continues to. The core of those visualizations is literally scientific, mathematical. What we did was approach scientists to look at their spread of data and we would work with them to actually put real world cameras or lenses into the system and our job working in collaboration with the scientists was to add the paint and color and light sometimes to take that somewhere more picturesque. I remember at the start of the project being so excited to read endless sort of research papers about the first fish that worked on land, the Tiktaalik, that you know, had elbows that they know only a certain amount about, but they know it was an evolutionary leap. And delving into the first theorized stars, uh, giving light to the universe right after the Big Bang. We also did a much more kind of fun, experimental things, taking uh, a lot of practical source material, which was always Terry's drive, uh, and throwing it into that process and really trying to make this ultimate combination of the organic and the digital. Getting a team together that was literally experimenting with chemicals and smoke machines and fluid tanks that we could create a whole range of effects. Very appealing to Terry. It's much more close to you know, how he intuitively works. Uh, you can obviously see and, and react to things real time. Relied a lot on natural history photography. It was really through consult with scientific advisors as to you know, where in the world would be the best place to go. Could stand in both for the present day, but also the past, and in some cases, the future. To represent the first flora, for example, Iceland in some areas has no trees. The natural history photography team were able to travel the world and find a lot of examples of beautiful landscape and scenery and wildlife. For things like the, the dinosaurs, we again leaned heavily on the advice of uh, the likes of Jack Horner and, and other advisors as to appropriate places that exist today, the redwood forests in Northern California, the Araucaria forests in South America and Chile, and the Atacama Desert also down in Chile, that can stand in for epochs, time periods that are much more ancient. We also have, of course, some extraordinary photography now from the likes of Hubble and some of the interplanetary space probes that have ventured further into our solar system and terrestrial telescopes as well that can see deep into space uh, and provide beautiful high-resolution photography of our own planets in the nearby system. We have footage from the Solar Dynamic Observatory, the STO satellite that is up around the sun taking 4K you know, material constantly. So there's a lot of you know, real photographic material that we have at our fingertips, some of which is familiar, uh, some of which is less familiar, and we tried to balance that so that there's stuff that's new and exciting. A project that's taken nearly 10 years of my time and participation, and I think over 40 of Terry's toward helping you understand or feel the you know, amazement and wonder at the sequence of events. The evolution of, of nature, you know, whether it's the flora or fauna that is around us, the shaping of the earth that has taken place over time. We deserve to pause sometimes and just reflect.
始まる過去現在未来ボヤージュオブタイム